First, I'd like to thank uh, Five Across for letting me speak tonight. Uh, I should clarify that I was from Toronto, but I'm from here now. Yeah. <laughs> My background, I spent uh, five years working for a global consulting firm, big business uh, and technology, solving problems for the Fortune 500. Was recruited away from there to work for a digital media conglomerate former VP of strategy from Microsoft, <coughs> and I secured a bunch of money, ended up going out and buying 15 different digital media companies across the US and was operating them under one umbrella. That intersection is why I've created addiction. And it solves a problem that I think we're all familiar with and are probably very scared of. So big data, we all know what's going on, and it is the future of how advertising is done online. Anything and everything we do online is being tracked, and big data is the method of figuring out trends of different, similar kinds of people and how they will react to certain things, um, advertising in particular. The industry. Uh, it is a $75 billion industry a year, uh, the task of getting a message to you on your computer. The analytics exist, and it's owned by two of the biggest players uh, on the block, Facebook and Google. These people have all of the properties, and you're all on them, and they're tracking everything you're doing. They hold that data very closely, and it is impacting everybody else in the space. So the first problem, those two, as I mentioned, control all the data, and they are continuing to accelerate their ownership of that property online. The second problem is these giants are manipulating how that information is being used and by whom. So if you are an advertiser, you want to be working with uh, the people that can get your message to the people that you want. Knowing that those two, two businesses have all of that control, your only option is to spend money with them. You think that you spending money with them is going to give you the access that you expect, and that isn't happening either. They are building um, layers of controls into their systems so that you are either not reaching the people that are following you on a Facebook page or you're paying to reach certain people at a volume and that's not happening either. All of this is designed to ensure that you continue to spend more and more money every month, whatever your budget is, to reach those same people. So it's a corrupt system. My previous life fixing problems, working for this last company and seeing just how manipulative this industry is, it made me want to do something about it. So, the challenge. How do you compete with uh, the current existing system? And I'd like to show you what I think can do that. So, the five biggest challenges to the advertising industry. Rapid growth, you know the number of websites that are popping up on any given day is many. Uh, the, the challenge is finding a way to bring audiences of a certain size to any one of those pages to reach a threshold which you can monetize. The second is ad blockers. Um, you own a website, uh, or sorry, you're a, a consumer, you're online, you can download an ad blocker. It prevents paid ads from showing up on your screens, which is something that we all want to achieve. Uh, reduced exposure, I explained that, how Facebook is doing that, layering your ads and, and where they go. The increase of cost to a business to reach people on various pages is constantly going up because they know the value of that. And then elusive audiences, um, the difficulty of getting that critical mass on any given page is becoming more and more difficult. Therefore, if you have that kind of audience, they'll charge you more to show up. So, the solution. I've kind of reversed the internet. 
you typically uh, type in a search to find whatever it is that you're interested in, and your results list could be 20 pages long. Oops, fair enough.